Number 14, how far apart must two point charges of 75 nanocoulombs, typical of static electricity, be to have a force of one newton between them? All right, so basically, right, you have two charges and they're both the same. So they're both going to be, it doesn't matter if it's positive or negative. Uh, they're both going to have a value of about 75 nanocoulombs, 75 nanocoulombs. And we're trying to find the distance between them, R, okay? R is something. But they tell us the force between them, right, is going to be one newton. Either they're going to attract each other with one newton of force, or they're going to repel each other with one newton of force, okay? So anytime you have a setup like this where you're talking about forces, distances, and charges, you know you're going to be using your formula that the force of attraction between a uh, force of, uh, excuse me, attraction or repulsion between two objects will equal the force constant K, not force constant, the electrostatic constant K multiplied by the product between the two charges Q1 and Q2. Take the absolute value of that and then divide it by the distance between them squared. We talked about this formula a little more in detail in number 10, so you might want to check that out. So now all I really need to do is basically plug in the values. They tell us the force is 10 newton. Actually, you know what? Before we plug in the stuff, why don't we just solve this for the variable we need, right? It's asking for how far apart. So we know we need to solve that for r, right? So literally just bring that out of the denominator, up into the numerator, bring this from the numerator down into the denominator, and almost voila, we just have to then take the square root of both sides, right? And when we do that, boom, there is, and we can get rid of the square. Here's our formula. That's it. So here r will then be equal to the square root now of 8.99 times 10 to the ninth times now the product between them, and it's the absolute value. Right, so just make sure it's positive. Uh, you can always plug in just the positive values too. It doesn't matter. Um, so this is going to be 75 times 10 to the negative ninth coulombs. If you're wondering how I did that conversion so quickly, check out number 10. Divided by the force is 1. So all we now need to do is just plug this into the calculator. So square root of 8.99 times 10 to the ninth multiplied by... Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's what happens when you start flying, Andrew. Um... What did I forget? I forgot the other charge. <laughs> 75 times 10 to the minus 9th. You got to plug in both charges. All right, I was just seeing if you guys were paying attention. If you caught it, leave a comment below. So 75 times 10 to the minus 9th. And then you can do that again, or you can square it 75 times 10 to the minus 9th. And then simply divide that now by 1 squared, but 1, you know, excuse me, not 1 squared, but just 1. And you don't even have to write that, but the distance now between them is, and I'll write it in scientific. So this is going to be, what is it, 7? 7? 7.11. 7.11 times 10 to the minus 3. And that is in terms of meters. If you want it in millimeters, you can do the conversion, all right, or centimeters, whatever. But that's the distance. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and we will see you soon. Have a great day.